What's up you guys, it's Katie, welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. Today I thought it'd be a cool idea just to share how I take some more traditionally basic looks and make them more stylish or just like generally spice them up a little bit. Firstly though, I want to thank ShopTagger for sponsoring today's video. I'm always so excited to be able to partner with them because I use their application on the regular and if you guys haven't heard of them before then A, where you been? But B, let me fill you in. ShopTagger is a free service where you simply download the cute little Little button to your browser and from then on whenever you're online shopping if you see an item that you love you can add it to your dedicated list and then they'll send you notifications whenever those items go on sale or come back in stock and if you download the mobile app then you can get them to send you push notifications on your phone as well I'd say that it's definitely made me a smarter shopper because I've always been a scatterbrain with like a million tabs open you guys know you end up like rushing into a purchase that doesn't necessarily end up being quite right so I love being able to make the dedicated list and just being able to let it sit and marinate for a little while so usually I have separate lists for the basics like jeans or blazers and then also just a random one full with the more fun and trendy pieces that typically I will let sit a little bit longer because I find that that helps cut down on those impulsive fast fashion purchases of course they're already saving you dollars when it comes to the sale alerts and now they also have a new feature where they can scan the internet for the best available discount codes with the click of a button and then they'll apply the best one they can find. I really wish I had to film my purchase on Misguided the other day because they actually managed to score me 55% off my entire order which was crazy because at the time the site was only advertising like 20% off dresses only so they really had my back but yeah if you guys are interested and you want to download shop tagger there will be a link in the description box below okay so i think that having go-to outfit combinations is a great base to start with especially if you're the sort of person who's always feeling kind of lazy when it comes to getting dressed in the mornings and before i actually get into my process on how i style up those basic looks there are a few things i want to touch on when kind of building up your wardrobe now that allows future you to continue to be lazy while still looking cute. Firstly, you really need to try and develop a base for your wardrobe, almost like a capsule wardrobe that you can then add extras on top of because really you want pieces that you can layer and switch up because for me, layering is the key to making outfits more interesting. So you really want pieces that you can mix and match with each other because that's just gonna make your life so much easier. Think turtlenecks, jeans, simple dresses, blazers, shirts, all that sort of thing. I have done a few different capsule wardrobes, so I will link some of those up in the card and in the description if you need kind of more ideas on where to get started. But this video is more about how to expand on that. Something that probably wouldn't be considered a staple item, but is definitely an essential in my wardrobe. And I guess kind of helps my capsule wardrobe still have an element of personal style to it is the fact that I love vests and vests have 100% absolutely stepped up my layering game without having me feel too bulky or uncomfortable. And as soon as I realized what an easy style solution this was for me, I kind of just went ham and invested in many different varieties. If you guys do think that this is something that could work well with your style as well and kind of get you into the hang of layering, especially if you're somewhere where it's a little bit too hot to work with too many jackets, then the two that I'd recommend starting out with would either be a utility vest if you're more into street style or just a simple sweater vest for a more classic look. Accessories are just that final touch that can completely transform and elevate your look. And if you guys look back at some of my older videos, I barely accessorized and I feel like it was definitely one of the key factors in leveling up my style and at first I feel like I wasn't doing it just because I was too lazy like it feels like too much effort to try and coordinate a bunch of accessories so what I recommend is just kind of finding a great combination that's really easy to copy and paste to a variety of different looks that you have in your wardrobe so for me personally it meant creating a silver base and then also a gold one my silver look is kind of more chunky a little bit more suited to my street style sort of side and then the gold is a little bit more dainty and once you do have those go 
go-to combos, then it cuts down so much time in the mornings and accessorizing doesn't feel like such a big task. Just quickly, one other accessory that I think deserves its own special mention is hats or just any headwear accessories in general, really, because this is one thing that can transform your look completely. Just like that, you can have one simple base outfit and just by changing what I have on my head literally makes me feel like a whole new gal. Some of my favorites are cute little hair clips, obviously for a more Y2K sort of vibe. There's bucket hats when I'm feeling more street style. Head scarves are great if you like that more kind of romantic vintage feel. A beret is very Parisian chic and even just a simple pair of sunglasses can do the trick. Okay, this one is kind of halfway between the points we're talking about now and also a bridge into the go-to outfit combos we're gonna talk about and it is matching sets. Matching sets are legit a lazy person's best friend because majority of the work is already done for you, but it also just gives you that little bit of variation that if you are feeling a little bit experimental, a bit more time on your hands, then you can create a whole new look as well. The specific example I want to use today for our first go-to outfit combo is a tracksuit. So matching sweatpants and sweatshirt. Obviously, this is a very popular option if you want to feel comfortable and just fuss free. Obviously, if it is matching, again, half the work is already done for you, but sometimes it can be left looking a little bit bland. So I think in order to really go fuss free, you want one that is bold enough that you don't have to accessorize at all. So in that case, I'd look for something that already has a point of difference to the outfit, whether it's an interesting silhouette, a large graphic, some little details, or in this case, also quite a bold color palette. Any and all of those options will just help it look a little bit more polished and legit all you have to do is slip into your go-to sneakers and you're good to go honestly for me personally i probably would also use the trick of one headwear accessory as well just because i can't help myself probably the most famous outfit combination is got to be jeans and a t-shirt and again before we even get into the styling you're going to want to give some thought to what style of jeans best suits you because that's going to make it a lot easier for you to do your magic and style it yourself and if you're someone who practically lives in jeans then you might even want to think about having a few different options to be able to switch up your look i'm just going to run through a couple of popular styles that i already have in my closet there's the skinny jean probably still the most popular choice but not quite right for me personally the mum jean is a great choice for those of you who aren't too keen on the skinnies but still have some tapered shape to the jean and also really good if you lean more to that retro 80s 90s sort of influence in your personal style boot cut is one that you don't see too often these days but i actually picked up this pair recently and i think they're really great for balancing out your curves the flare is the more dramatic step up from boot cut and Perfect for those of you who love a real 70s influence. Wide leg is my absolute favorite. I live in baggy styles these days. And I think I really like that it brings a boyish sort of element in to balance out the crop tops that I'm usually styling with them. And of course, you can always spice things up by choosing a statement pair as well, whether it's adding two different tones of denim, patterns or prints on the jeans, and also just like extra embellishments. I love my half zipped ones. So once you do find the perfect jean and tee combo for you, then realistically, you could just wear that same base and cycle through your extras just to keep the look fresh. And I do say extras instead of just accessories because it could also include adding an extra item of clothing as well. And I figure we will just kind of go through a couple of key themes that you might want to try out. First up is something a little bit more chic and I'm pretty much just layering more basic items on top with the black boots, belt, and a long line black blazer. And yes, I did keep all of them black. I just feel like this is a nice contrast off of the lighter base we have on and also obviously ties each item together. You could totally go for something more casual though by teaming it with sneakers, maybe a baseball cap, and for me, my go-to isn't actually a belt but rather a white shoelace. I thought I'd also include a denim on denim look because a jean jacket is another basic piece that people often gravitate towards and you don't have to be scared of teaming it with your jeans too. I find that the best way is either to go for a kind of mid-wash blue and team it with a black jean or go for the exact same shade of blue denim as well. You could take inspo from a more 90s vibe by putting a cami over the top of your t-shirt 
shirt and I find that the best place to turn for inspo for this is the girls of friends I'm not entirely sure but I think we're going with art ho aesthetic for this one because I'm styling a cozy cardigan a hair scarf tote bag sneakers and finishing it off with some glasses that are not at all prescription e-girl is another really trendy one at the moment but honestly it's just the same shit i was wearing in high school pretty much just layering a long sleeve underneath preferably it being striped piling on the silver jewelry i even like to stack up my belts with this sort of look as well because honestly i feel like the key is just more is more and not so much a theme but you could consider introducing a key color to match throughout your accessories and maybe even tying it into a graphic t-shirt. For me, the go-to is red. I always say I feel like this suits a lot of different skin tones and also it's the sort of color that you could team with either gold or silver accessories. Next up, I had to style the hoodie because this is an absolute essential when it comes to any lazy wardrobe. And for me, I feel like often people will just kind of throw it on maybe with a very plain bottom, maybe some black leggings or something. But if I really want to switch this outfit into more of a street style sort of vibe rather than something I kind of just slept in, didn't have time to shower and we're just rolling with it today, then my key is actually to switch up the pants to be patterned because obviously all you're doing is grabbing this pair of pants rather than the plain ones but instantly it looks like you put more effort into it unless you're feeling bold enough to do some contrasting colors I think it's easiest just to stick within the same color family as your hoodie so I slipped into these black and white plaid trousers and like we mentioned earlier about having your go-to accessories I'm choosing my silver ones throwing those on Probably gonna throw on a bucket hat as well just because I doubt I can be bothered to do my hair. My trusty bum bag, which you guys have seen like a hundred thousand times at this point if you are a regular on this channel. And to finish it off, a pair of chunky shoes. I absolutely love my platforms because it does give me that extra boost of height while still being casual, which I think is perfect for when you're styling these really oversized baggy clothes. This category is leggings slash bike pants because I know that leggings are super, super popular, but personally, I just don't really ever wear them, but I do wear bike shorts and I feel like the two really have the same styling tips apply, just one is showing more leg than the other. So for me, since I don't necessarily consider them pants, I do like to wear something long enough to cover my butt and also potential camel toe region if you will so for me an oversized t-shirt is perfect the easiest way to change this up is obviously switching from a plain t-shirt to either something with a pattern or a graphic on it and i think you should never underestimate a good graphic tee because it actually has the potential to add in more of your own personality to the look so for me that means either going for a wrestling or anime style t-shirt but whatever your graphic ends up being it will probably set the color palette for the rest of your outfit as well. And since this is clearly a very casual take, I just like to keep it that way by slipping into a pair of sneakers. And if you do wanna spice it up a little bit, you can always try some different styles of socks. You can totally leave it there for a simple approach, but if you can be bothered or have the time to do so, then you could go back to one of our main points from the beginning and add either your go-to accessories, some form of headwear, or even opt for a utility vest, which I think would pair pretty cool with this. So a classic white button-up has been a wardrobe staple for decades, but I feel like these days people kind of view it as something a bit bland, which totally doesn't have to be the case. And before we even get into how to style it, let's just kind of look at some ways you can actually physically wear it. So firstly, just a more traditional look with the majority of it buttoned up. You could wear it completely undone as more of a layering piece just to throw over. You can tie it up for that cute, relaxed look. I think this is a very nice summertime vibe. Buttoned all the way up I find often works best if you're gonna throw in an extra layer over the top and also thinking a little bit more outside the box you guys know I love to use this trick to transform it into an asymmetric shirt with the one shoulder so for today to finish off the base of the outfit I thought we'd stick to another really simple go-to piece of just a little black skirt personally my two favorites are either a leather or or a pleated mini because both just add a little bit more texture to otherwise a pretty basic item. And as the clueless Dan I am, I still love taking inspo from the 
this very classic look from Cher by adding a leather jacket for a more matchy matchy moment. Again, going for a set is just a no brainer and always looks very polished. Plus, depending on your choice of shoe, you could definitely take this look in a couple of different directions, but I decided to stay true to the original and just go for something classic. So on the flip side of that also being a K-pop stand, I love to take inspiration from what I can only refer to as an edgy schoolgirl look. I don't know, what would you guys call it? So for that, I slipped into my pleated skirt and as I mentioned earlier, my favorite layering piece, a vest, although this one is actually just half a vest. Pretty much, I just accessorized to look like anyone in line for an 80s concert, literally. Very similar to the sort of vibe I went for when I saw them live, which just includes any accessories fit for an e-girl, layered chains, silver accents, and lace-up boots. For me, one of my most worn pieces is a flannel, which I mean, I think that that is just a term in the Australian Bogan Dictionary, so pretty much just a check shirt or a flannel shirt for the rest of the world. And actually similar to the white button up, you can wear this a bunch of different ways. And personally, I do like to have a bit of a twist on some of my basics just to keep it more interesting. So instead of getting a more traditional plaid pattern, I actually opted for this one with a split color and also an uneven hemline as well. I absolutely love the contrast of the orange and the purple. And this is just my favorite piece in my wardrobe. It always feels like a warm hug. So super, super comfortable. When it comes to creating outfit combos just in general, balance is always key. And typically the rule is having one more fitted item teamed with something more loose or baggy just to counteract each other. But although this flannel is really oversized, I feel like pairing it with a skinny pant is almost too drastic a contrast. So instead I kept the bottoms a little loose and made my fitted item the top I actually wear underneath the shirt. Since the colors on mine are more of a statement, I just decided to revert back to the basic jean and tee combo from earlier with my favorite way to style it actually being to half button it up and then you almost shimmy it back off the shoulders a little bit and then tuck it in at the front. I just really like the silhouette this creates. I think it's something a little bit different and also by tucking it in at the front, it still ensures that you keep some shape and definition at the waist, which again is really important when it comes to balancing out those oversized items. So that was just my process on how I style up some of my basic go-to outfit combinations. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it somewhat helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more styling videos like this and what particular things you might want some help with. But otherwise, hopefully I'll see you in my next video or even over on my Instagram if you want at Steal the Spotlight. Thanks guys, bye.